Hello students, welcome to a new session. In this session, we'll be working on application on solving equations in Q or in rational numbers. Let's refresh our minds with an introduction. In the first one, it says, if the age of a man now is X years, then what is his age five years ago? So, we're going to go back 5, so it's x minus 5. If the age of a man now is y years, then what is his age after 4 years? We're going to add 4, so it will be y plus 4. The third one, if the age of a man after 5 years is x, so, after 5 years from now is x, remember this. Then, what is his age now? So, after 5 years, it's x. Now we go back, we go back 5 years. So, it will be x minus 5. The fourth one, if the age of Yusuf after four years is X, what is his age two years ago? Think of this one logically. After four years, his X. So if you come back to now, is X minus four. But the question wants you to find his age two years ago. So it will be X minus 4, minus 2, so it's x minus 6. The last one, a rectangle with length equals triple its width. So, the length is, triple means 3 times the width. If the length is x, what is the width? The length is x. So, the width is x divided by 3. Three consecutive numbers starting by x are what? Consecutive means after each other. So, numbers after each other, like for example, 2, 3, 4. What happens to the 2 to become 3? Excellent. We add 1. What happened to the 3 to become 4? Excellent, we add 1. Then, from every number in the consecutive integers, we add 1. If the first one is x, x we add 1 will become x plus 1. The one after it, we add 1, so it's x plus 2. We add 1, it's x plus 3, and so on. So, the three consecutive numbers starting with x are x, x plus 1, x plus 2. With the same idea, what are the three consecutive numbers if the middle one is x? The number in the middle is x. To go next, we add 1. To go back, we subtract 1. So if the one in the middle is x, then the next one is x plus 1, and the one before it is x minus 1. Okay, same sequence, same logic. The three consecutive even or odd integers. The three consecutive even or odd numbers. If they start by x, tell me an example of consecutive even numbers. 4, 6, 8. What happens to the 4 to become 6? Excellent. We add 2. What happens to the 6 to become 8? Good job. We also add 2. So, if the first number is x, then the one after it is x plus 2. And every time we add 2, the one after is x plus 4, the one after is x plus 6, and so on. The same thing applies for the consecutive odd integers. For example, give me an example for three odd integers or odd numbers after each other. 3, 5, 7. What happens to the 3 to become 5? Yes, we add 2. 
what happens to the 5 to become 7? Yes, we have 2. So the first number is x. The next one we add 2, it will be x plus 2. Take care, it's not 2x. It's x plus 2 because we add. The one after is x plus 4 and so on. The three consecutive odd or even integers if the middle number is x. Middle number is x. To get the one after, we add 2. So the one next is x plus 2. To get the one before, we subtract 2. So the one before it is x minus 2. Remember that the parameter of the rectangle is 2 multiplied by the length plus the width. And the area of the rectangle is the length times the width. Let's go to exercise number one. One of the two numbers is twice the other, and their sum is 18. Find the two numbers. Let's make the first number is x. So consider the two numbers are x and 2x. If we have that their sum is 18, so x plus 2x is equal to 18. If we combine x plus 2x, it's 3x equals 18 divided by 3 divided by 3, then x equals 6. If the first one is 6, the second one is 2 times 6, which is 12, then the two numbers are 6 and 12. Exercise number 2, find the three consecutive numbers whose sum is equal to 18. Let's consider the three numbers as x and x plus 1 and x plus 2. If we add them all together, the result is 18. To simplify by combining the like terms, so we have 3x plus 3 equals 18. We move the 3 to the other side, so 3x equals 15, then x equals 5. So x is the first number, then the next one is x plus 1, which is 6. The one after, which is x plus 2, is 7. So the three numbers are 5, 6, and 7. Other solution, we can consider the numbers are x in the middle. So x minus 1, x, and x plus 1. If we add them all together, 3x equals 18, divided by 3, divided by 3, then x equals 6. The middle number is 6, so the number before it is 5, and the number after it is 7. So the three consecutive numbers are 5, 6, and 7 as well. Exercise number 3, find the three consecutive odd numbers whose sum is equal to 33. Three odd numbers consecutive. So we're going to say that the first one is x, the second one is x plus 2, the third one is x plus 4. So let's consider... The three numbers are x, x plus 2, and x plus 4. If we add them all together, it will be x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 is 33. So 3x plus 6 equals 33. If you move the 6 to the other side, then 3x equals 33 minus 6, which is 27. Divided by 3 divided by 3, x equals 9. 9 is the first odd number. Then the one after it is 11, and the one after it is 13. Same thing, we have another solution that we consider the middle number is x. So the one before it is x minus 2, and the one after it is x plus 2. If we add them all together, they're equal to 33, then 3x equals 33, then the middle number is 11. So the one before it is 9, and the one after it is 13. Both ways are correct. You choose the better way for you, and you can solve with it all the questions. Exercise number four. Using the opposite figure, find the value of x. As you can see that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. So x, x plus 10, and x, their sum is 180. So if you add them all together, they're equal to 180. Then 4x plus 10 is equal to 180. If you move the 10 to the other side, 4x equals 170. Then x equals 170 over 4. Then x is equal to 42.5. Let's now go to the evaluation part. Question 1. Two integers, 
The smaller number is 2x and the greater is 7x if the difference between them is 25. Find the two integers. As long as the difference is a positive number, so this means that the greater minus the smaller is equal to 25. So 5x is equal to 25, then x equals 5. If x equals 5, then the smaller number is 2 times 5, which is 10, where the greater one is 7 times 5, which is 35. Question 2. Two natural numbers, one of them is twice the other, their sum is 108, find the two numbers. Let's consider the first one is x and the second one is y. So x is 2 times y, so their sum is 108, so x plus y equals 108. If you substitute x by 2y, then 2y plus y equals 108. 3y is equal to 108 divided by 3 divided by 3, then y equals 36. To find the other number, x equals 2 times 36, so x equals 72. Then the two numbers are 72 and 36. Dear students, we came to the end of our session. Thank you very much and wishing you best of luck. Thank you.